what's the essential difference between dreaming and waking? It's just sensory input. So what's sensory input? That's the energies, vibrations and such in our environment that are impinging on our sensory systems now. For example, right now, you're looking up at the screen, there's a dreaming is perception unconstrained by sensory input. And then it says perception is dreaming constrained by sensory input. Now what's happening is light is bouncing off the screen, impinging on your retina, your nerves are passing information to the back of your brain that then is making sense, guessing what those words say and mean. And you're interpreting it and then you're reading it and say, here's what it is. If you speak English and have some understanding of the words, then you can then interpret. Say, this is what is meant by that. The claim is that, that the experience you're having right now is a type of dream. It's a dream in which what you're dreaming is constrained or determined or limited or um, primarily, let's say, reflect, it's a reflection of energies in your environment, namely sensory input. Whereas the dream on the other side is the same constructive process that you're experiencing right now, namely, where am I, what's happening, what's going on, what do I see, what do I experience, without sensory input, or with sensory input being very limited. So that means now it's now a build up of the other factors that determine perception while we're awake besides sensory input. So if sensory input is available, it determines more than anything else what we perceive. But if it's not available, as in sleep, and when we're dreaming, our brains are working anyway, it's not a big deal that we don't have sensory input. We then, oh, well, the world is as we know it to be. It's based on past experience, what we expect, wish for, fear is the case, our set of expectations, the way we understand the world works. We get such direct, immediate feedback that it's uh, impossible to miss in the dream. The dream is completely honest with us. And so dreams are these improvisations where we are very you know, quickly uh, shown whatever is in our minds and hearts. That if we have a, a feeling, a, a way of, I think this is sort of what's going to happen, that's what then happens. And so it's a great mirror, a reflection, to show us immediately what we're bringing to our experience. Another angle on it, which is not the interpretation part, it's the, so what do we do with interpretation? When we've interpreted something, we've understood something, the wisdom of life, of how we want to live. Well, I say, why don't we live in our dreams in the same way? In other words, uh, bring our ideals into our dreams and act there. Of course, now we can dream for our own reasons, say, what could I do with my dreams? Where could I go with them? And the answer is, you know, limited only by your ability to dream.